Just when you think it can't get any worse, it does. After months of doing nothing, the Justice Department backs into an investigation after IRS victims complain they haven't even been interviewed. Obama appoints a donor, a crony, an employee, Barbara Bosserman. I feel so much better now. With me is the executive director of the American Center for Law and Justice, Jordan Sekulow. Jordan, are they kidding? Yeah, well, I mean, listen, you said it gets worse. It's a scandal within the scandal. And, and Judge, it took uh, seven months before the Department of Justice or the FBI even began contacting any of our 41 clients. It happened at the very end of last year, very end of December, and Barbara Barsman was involved. And, and so that questioning was, will she be part of, will we do FBI interviews? Will we have our clients sit down? And then we, of course, the day after this scandal breaks, this even makes it better, the day after it breaks this week, we get an email from one of the Department of Justice attorneys. She's overseeing it, but we get an email saying, hey, have you decided if you're gonna have set up these interviews with your clients in the FBI? And we judge, we took about a day, and we, we said, we've written back so far, so there's correspondence ongoing saying that we are now totally reevaluating whether we're going to move forward to help their criminal investigation but, because but, of Ms. Bosserman's political background, over $6,000 to Obama alone. And uh, perspective-wise, less than one half of 1% of Jordan, Americans give Jordan, more than $200 Jordan, a year. Jordan, let, let me tell you something. There's no question that this person has a conflict of interest. She's sure. getting paid by the Obama administration. She's paid the Obama administration to yeah, be there. So, uh, but at the same time, do victims have a right to choose who the prosecutor should be? Well, the, the, the attorney, as you know, Judge, has responsibilities. We're looking at that as well. We want to help this investigation. At the same time, we don't want to risk our clients who someone, I mean, think about the intimidation factor here. They know if they're going to sit across the table now from her, that she's someone who fundamentally disagrees with everything that they stand for. And she's supposed to be getting to the bottom of whether there's a criminal investigation. Of course, she could switch that and end up saying, well, our clients actually violated something. That's what happens when you start cooperating with these. So, it, it, so, she, so we're looking at the ethics. If they wanted to handle this, she can back away. As I was saying before, less than one half of 1% of Americans donate more than $200 to a federal candidate in an election cycle. She donated the max amount each time for Obama. So with that, with that in mind, as an okay, attorney, so I, I, you think I don't think away. anyone who's got half a brain would disagree with you. The woman yeah. is working within the agency that she's supposed to be investigating, and she she paid sure. money to, to get in there, and it's an enormous amount of money compared to how much she makes. Who right. should? investigate this case you know I, I've said this and I think it's clear and fair if this was someone who gave a couple hundred dollars or a cut each election who cycle should investigate this well I th the Department of Justice we want this investigation to move forward but we are now thinking that the the idea of the special prosecutor and creating that independent prosecutor again may be necessary here yeah. because this administration dragged their feet and seven months into it when they finally got started we find out that they they choose a partisan even from the bureaucracy, and it's a, that's about it. that's as partisan as you can get being a bureaucrat by maxing out your donations, which you have a right to do. But she's also got her legal obligations as an attorney. When there's a conflict of interest and when it could prejudice the that's investigation, right. why not step away mm -hmm. so that we get to the bottom of it? It doesn't look good for the Department of Justice. It certainly look, makes the FBI look like they're following political orders instead of doing their job. Well, and and with respect to the FBI, I mean, you had the old FBI, the head of the FBI, who didn't even know anything about it, and and. Sure. And Jim Comey, who is a terrific prosecutor, now the head of the FBI, says he doesn't even know who was, you know, handling or running the investigation. Anyway, Jordan, thanks yep. so much for being thanks, with us. Thanks, Judge. All right. And with me now, Republican strategist Ford O'Connell and Democratic strategist Ebony Williams. All right, Ebony, how does this administration appoint someone who is an Obama loyalist to investigate the Obama administration's own IRS? Well, here's the thing, Judge, you know, you and I both know as attorneys that you are bound ethically to zealously do your job regardless of partisan leanings. And I feel like in the absence of evidence that suggests otherwise, I don't understand why Attorney Bosserman is being persecuted prematurely for being politically active. I, I mean, Ebony, I have to totally being... disagree. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ebony, what, what, under, under the model rules of professional conduct, Rule 1.7, she meets a conflict of interest. She should be removed. This should go to a special prosecutor and judge to your question. It should be Patrick Fitzgerald, the former uh, ah. 
uh, attorney for Northern Illinois in the U.S. Attorney's Office, who's known for being tough on corruption and served both Republicans and Democrats. Patrick Fitzgerald has my vote as a special prosecutor. You know, Ebony, when you say that we're both lawyers, I think you recognize that even All justices of, of the United States Supreme All Court have said that prosecutors have an additional responsibility, not that they're better than lawyers necessarily, but they have a higher burden. And the appearance of impropriety is one that we need to stay away from. So, um, Ford, how can anyone be confident uh, with a prosecutor like this? Why well, they, they can't be, and that's the point. She has an ethical duty under, under what, Rule 1.7 of the Professional Conduct Rules to essentially remove herself. The DOJ has no uh, legal cause to actually remove her, and that's where it comes. It comes on Mrs. Bosserman's part, and that's why she needs to recuse herself. Essentially, we need to go to an independent counsel, and we need to get to the heart of this in the way that Chris Christie had quick, decisive action with respect to Bridgegate. All right, and you know what? Let's segue Before, there, what, Ebony. What, the, the Chris what, Christie okay. and Bridgegate. What, what do you think of that? Well, look, I think Chris Christie, you know, is, he's responding as the prosecutor we know him to be, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's his style. He's pretty abrupt. And, you know, I, I don't really fault him for the way he's handling it. But I also think to compare the way Chris Christie is responding to his state issue to the way the president or any other federal leader is responding to massive, complex federal things is misguided. It's a false equivalency, Judge. I mean, th those are apples and oranges. Wait, wait, wait and, a minute. Wait know, a minute. Justice is the same whether it is a federal or a state issue. I mean, you're not suggesting that the death of four Americans is not as serious as, you know, a bridge closure, are you? And ju oh, judge absolutely not, Judge. I mean, I absolutely empathize and am also looking for answers for the families of Chris Stevens and the other three that died in that horrible uh, tragedy in Benghazi, Judge. But what I am saying, and you, we all three know, that the protocol dictated by federal investigations and processes are very different, and they unfortunately move a lot Ebony, slower. Ebony, Ebony, I, 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 I got to stop you there. You want to talk about protocol? Okay then you don't trumpet that you are investigating. I have worked with the feds for 30 years. Right. They always say we do not confirm or deny. Now all of a sudden, within 24 hours of Chris Christie doing a press conference, the feds are trumpeting that they're doing a federal criminal probe. Ford, what say and they you shouldn't on be that? doing that, Judge. That, that's exactly they, they right. This is about that. leadership. President Obama shown no leadership unless it benefits his political interests. Solyndra, Benghazi, IRS, etc. And that's the point. Chris Christie took decisive action, and that's what Americans want. He may still be found guilty of this, but the point is he took leadership and quick, decisive actions. And in five plus years, this administration is an embarrassment with respect to leadership, transparency, and good government. All right, let's try to let's try to kind of get out of politics. Um, uh, Ebony, we've got Robert <laughs> Gates, respected by Democrats and Republicans, saying that Hillary Clinton is deciding what her, you know, her, her, her uh, uh, where she should be on a surge in Iraq based upon where she is in the polls. Do you think that's going to affect yeah. her in 2016? I think that the sec former Secretary of State is going to have to be much more disclosive about a lot concerning Benghazi and, 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 and her positions in Iraq. And absolutely, she's going to have to answer those questions. And the American people deserve an answer if we're to consider her for the top of the ticket. Absolutely, Judge. All right. Ford and Ebony, the, uh, uh, a very smooth. Well, one, one, one quick thing. That Real fast. The point is, is this goes to her with a commander in chief test and the fact that she'll put partisan politics above military action means that well, she's got a lot to answer. There's going to be a problem with the military. She, anyway, we'll, thanks we'll so answers. much, guys. And coming up, what you need to know about the danger no one is talking about. Could the U.S. power grid fall to terrorists? And don't forget to vote in tonight's Insta poll. What are the odds of an Obama employee making anyone at the IRS accountable? Facebook or tweet me at Judge Janine.